Now to a story you'll only see on four. A local woman grateful to be alive tonight. Her story, her survival, all thanks to a neighbor and his loyal dog. Facing potential deadly danger, both jumped in to take out another dog. He wouldn't let me go for nothing. He was just rushed into me and there was no mercy. Tonight, Only News 4 is bringing you this story. As our Gabriela Vidal reports, the Ferguson woman now has a long road to recovery. And we do want to warn you, some details and images are graphic. Catherine Rose, a resident living in this Ferguson neighborhood, has never experienced anything like what happened when she was attacked by a dog yesterday afternoon. She doesn't know what would have happened had her neighbor's dog not stepped in. <sighs> It's a memory that still remains far too gruesome and vivid for Catherine Rose. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay strong, but it's so hard. On Wednesday afternoon, she was attacked by a neighbor's dog right outside her home. My fingers ate up so bad to, it's deep down close to the bone to where I have to go to a surgeon. Screaming for her life. I mean, the worst scream I ever heard. It, it was a blood curdling scream. Neighbor and Ferguson officer Drew Kennedy and his four legged partner sprung into action. And I grabbed my robe because I was in my underwear and I go running out the door. And by the time I got to her, her son Reggie had a broom and he's trying to hit the dog. I didn't feel safe discharging my weapon with her arm in this dog's mouth. Kennedy then ran to get Ozzy. I came back to my front door, said, Ozzy, get him and he knew exactly what to do. He went straight for that dog and he hit that dog full force, getting that dog to release her arm. Ozzy kept fighting the neighbor's dog for over 20 minutes before that dog's owner came out to try to restrain him. When Pancho first let go of Ozzy, he turned around and grabbed his own owner, bit his own owner in the calf. This dog is, is super aggressive and why the door was left open for the for him to get out. I don't know. One of the owners of the dog who started the attack declined to speak on camera, but tells News 4 they are grateful Canada and Ozzy got involved to help Rose. They have since put their dog down after the attack and because of the injuries he sustained, while Ozzy also sustained serious puncture wounds. Yeah, you're a lifesaver. This good boy is in good spirits, receiving rubs and pets fit for a hero. Thank God for Drew, the police officer, to stay next door to me and his dog. His dog saved my life. I'm a very proud papa. In Ferguson, Gabriella Vidal, News 4.